Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a real quick video I want to do unboxing some stuff. So these came in. Um, I have this one that I got from Amazon for my Charge Plus. And let's see if I can get it out. It's pretty tight fit. I'd take the clip off. It did work with the clip. It would kind of slide on or in, but wasn't a great fit. So I got my Charge Plus in here. I just like the idea of having this kind of heritage style leather sheath and it's not going on a belt or anything but it just sits here it's nice so then i got a small one for my hopefully for my crunch um i do like this nylon sheath actually but um again i kind of just like the idea of having the um leather one so is that the way it should go in or do we want it in this way? That, yeah, that doesn't allow it to buckle. So this little guy is a bit annoying, but I think he's going to work with us on this. See how he's kind of pushing into the side down there? That'll that'll mold in, though. And then we should be able to... Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh, wait. Let's take, take that down a little bit. There we go. It tightens down more. And in we go. So we got this one for our crunch, which is awesome. And I'll keep these um, just to have around somewhere. I don't know where I'll toss them. Maybe in my packaging bin. We have that. And then uh, a channel member and a buddy, Carco, K-A-R-C-O, shout out to you, dude, is sending me a uh, Leatherman signal, I believe. Um, he's kind of donating it to the channel. And uh, in anticipation of that, I was buying these and I picked up a large one that is supposed to fit the signal. So I have that and I could use it for other stuff if I needed to. Then I have this from Oak City Leather Supply. This right here is the Fox Chillin' from Blade HQ. It's an exclusive and I gotta say, I am really in love with this. I threw a lynch clip on it and skiff bearings and we are solid as a rock really like it um uh, it's got that kind of nest monkey blade shape this is from oak city leather supply and this is another chickadee slip really nice bag this time i don't remember this bag being that nice oh so my thinking on this one was to match it with the yellow. So originally I thought that this was the Orville popcorn themed one. It's not. It's the Sailors whatever. That one has my Carta. This has G10. But it's still yellow. And yellow and uh, red and black. I don't know. I thought it might work together. So don't know if these are loose again. Yeah, they're pretty loose. So what you do is you be very careful, because this is where I screwed up last time. And you don't want to jack anything up at this point. But I got to get this baby in. And it is very tight. So hold on. Let's see if I can get her, get her going. I'm trying to be gentle. Am I doing something wrong? Is it I'm trying? Oh, yep. It's trying to slice there. So hold on. God damn it, it's hard. Don't remember it being this hard the first time. Yeah, it really wants to dig in, like to the side there. I don't know why. You gotta keep it from doing that, I guess. Why is it not wanting to accept this? That is just not working. I don't know why. My other one. It just kind of went in. So I just had to let it mold a little bit. It's almost like it's too tight, maybe. And these are loose. I mean, they're 
pretty much undone at this point. I don't want to jack, feel like I'm jacking the edge up by doing this, but you can always resharpen it, but I also don't want to screw up the inside of the sheath, which I feel like I'm already doing. See how it wants to cut. Can I hold this onto something? Sorry, guys, I'm trying. I might have to do this off camera, but it should just slide in. I mean, I don't... I think it's just too tight for the, damn. How far in do I have this one? Let me just check. I like it where it is. It's right about there, right about there. Yep, about the same, right? So yeah, some people like jam it in further, but then you got no grip. Like here, at least I can two finger this out. And that has been really good on this one. You can see it has a good fit. Sorry. It has a good fit even after molding. I mean, there's it's not coming out of there. Um, and I have to physically yank it out, which is nice. So that's hopefully where this one will um, work. I'm a little worried. This one's just going to stay in there, though. But let me grab the fulcrum. I think I have one in here, do I? I do not. I must have taken it out. So grab the uh, inline here so I can show you guys what I like about this. So one thing I don't like is how you got to, you know, pull the bits out like that. But it's got to go in a certain way, right? So kind of just drop it in, push it up like this, flip it around. And you're good to go. Oops. And now I can tighten this down. Today's Black Friday, by the way. So I hope you guys had a great Thursday or Thanksgiving. My wife is on lunch. She's watching the kid for a second while she is on lunch. And I'm kind of on dad duty. And I'm trying to get a shower, but I wanted to unbox this stuff. So we'll see how far I get with the shower. <laughs> I don't know why I can't can't go any tighter. These I was able to just crank down, I think. Oh no. Look at that. So I guess that's as far as they go, huh? Try to be careful. So this I get rid of this light and everything. This over here. Sorry, just gotta, this thing's awesome. Really great tool to have around. Probably my favorite of their products. So I think this looks good with the, um, do you hear that? Something else loose now. This one do that? No, see? Why is it, why is it rattling? It's a little annoying. I don't know what that is. I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. That that seemed a little bit harder to get in than the last one, but could just be me not knowing how that all works. Hold on, let me try one more time. Looks like I nicked it up already, too. Yeah, it's not good any tighter. All right. So, I'll say it does look cool. Um, I think this one could possibly work with this knife as well because it's got the blue. They might be a little bit interchangeable. We'll see. Um, I got to say, the color schemes that I've kind of picked here have <laughs> really haven't turned out to be the best, but whatever. Um, they're still cool. I wish this didn't tap. I don't know why it does, but probably just a little more bent out. Oh, yeah. This one's, like, tight. I like that. This one's not so much, so we'll see if that affects the 
the function of it because it's already fairly easy to get out of your pocket so i wonder you know how that's gonna be but that's all stuff i'll figure out in time so anyway there's the oak city leather supply slip for the chickadee the other one excited to have these i'm gonna have to let that one rest for a while and then i have this knife no not knife this package this is from Charles Wiggins, and I sent my Zerk light in again because I just kept having this issue. Turns out, apparently what I was doing was smushing the connectors or something, is what he said. I guess I was over-tightening the head. I don't know why I didn't... I'm not sure. It was a little bit odd. I don't know why he didn't tell me that after the first time. Um... But anyway, what I asked was, hey, could you swap me for a new one? Could you downgrade me to titanium and give me a partial refund? Could you refund me? Can I upgrade and, and pay a difference? Like, I just wanted to do something because I kept having to send this in every three months. And I've had this one for probably a year or so, and I've never had an issue with it. So it's not like I don't know what I'm doing. It's just something with the head on that one just... He was telling me that conductivity is different with Zerk than anything else, and he has to wire it different. And maybe just that and me didn't come, you know, we didn't go together well. So I, being me, went full on bouge. This is the Micro Arcadian in Moku Tai, because <laughs> I am a maniac. 6222. Hey, my birthday is 622. It's kind of close. Um, damn, I was gonna figure out the the uh programming. Holy shit, look at this thing. Look at that. That's insane. Now he did tell me this will scratch. So my Zerky Tie one was nice because it just it wouldn't scratch, right? Um, this will. So We'll see what happens, but I'm probably just going to rock it. And if it gets marked up, it gets marked up. These are, I believe, like $1,500. Um, $1,400, which is... Whew. So I had $900 into my Zerk one, so I just paid the difference, um, which was nice. But look at this thing. So this has conductivity like a titanium one, so we shouldn't have that issue that I had with the other one. Now, I'm probably going to have to just charge this battery up at some point. I have others here that should be charged, so I'm just going to pop one of these in. Put this one here. I'll probably forget, and I'll need to charge it later, but I have five of those now, which is nice. Drop that in. Drop this in, and I don't have to swap the clip over because I already have it. Tighten that. Too, tighten it too much, maybe? I'm just tightening it. I don't know how you could over-tighten it, but let's see. We are on medium, and there we go. Works. Look at that clip. This is crazy. Just move everything, show you guys. That is one sexy motherfucking flashlight right there. Did I like the full black polish? Yes. I thought that was sick with this clip. It set it off. Honestly, I kind of like that maybe better, but it wasn't really an option anymore. So, um, could I swap the clips on these? I guess I could, but one's more black gray, this one. And this one's got more color. So, I think the clip matches pretty good there you could go just like standard tie clip on this that might look good as well just to not have crazy bouge all over it um i think i have one let me just check i do have yeah so i have this clip which i believe is titanium but i don't know oh uh, that matched this never mind um i do have this pouch so I could carry it in here and then have it in my pocket. But here's the thing, guys. If you're carrying a flashlight every day, you want to use the... I have to use the flashlight pretty regularly. Um, and I don't want to take it out of a pouch every time and pamper it. 
I get the reasoning. Totally get it. Because it's pricey. Um, but I just won't do it. And I still have this one. Still love this one, of course. Um, I'll probably just keep this in my case over there or something. So I don't... This is kind of makes it feel like it's stored away. You know, I don't want that feeling. Because I do like that one. And sometimes you can't carry a crazy bouge flashlight. So I'll uh, try to reprogram this after I take that shower. Because i got to run and do that. And I hate reprogramming these. But it is what it is. I should have asked him to do it before I got it. But what are you going to do? So there you go. That is the Mokutai CWF Micro Arcadian. Absolutely love it. It's sexy as hell. Still the great, fantastic flashlight it is. Um, the, is that a tapper? Do we have a tapper in here? Tell me it ain't so. What's going on? Is it? Mm, I hate tappers. See, like this one, no tap. And I did, oh, get in there. Do believe when I got the, man, these screws are, the heads are just not wanting to. So when I got the original one, I think I did have to just, Went a little far there, Kat. Let's see. I just want it to rest comfortably. Because the, um, the stock clip, it um, is very tight. And I like that. It's comfortable. And I don't like... I don't like flashlights that pop out of my pocket easily, if that makes sense. And that's what happens a lot with these kind of bougie clips. They don't have as much tension as the... Let me just back this one out. Are we good now? Yeah, straighten it. Do we have any tap? No tap. That's probably going to be like way too tight, but we'll see. Let's see. We are straight. We are not tapping. And we have the ramp there, so it should just... Yeah, it pops over. It's tight, which I like. So this should be good. All right, I'm going to shut up now. There we go. Another CWF Micro Arcadian. This one in full-on bouge mode. Moku tie. Match it with my... Uh, Supreme or screw preem driver here. Let's see if I can get it. Sorry about the lighting. I'm kind of rushing here. Look at that. I'm carrying this guy today. Full on bouge. So let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.